And, uh, we're going to talk about Big Trouble in China. I have a, a good fun time watching the, the show, bringing back a lot of memories and, and uh, to a lot of the younger people, they, they've seen it a few times, but you know, it's always good, to, good, a lot of the good, clean fun. Yeah, and you'll get a chance to catch up with your old cast members. Have you stayed in touch with James Hong or some of the other? Well, uh, well the funny thing is that, that after the, the movie, I, I bought James Hong's home in, in Eagle Rock. So uh, uh, the ghost of Eagle uh, of uh, James Hong is uh, still there. <laughs> he said, Peter, uh, write me a check. Uh, uh, keep the amount blank. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, it's, it's just, it just happens, and, and he's, a, he's a great guy, and I enjoy his uh, sense of humor, and he's an amazing uh, artist, um, one of the most prolific actors here in, in Hollywood, period. You don't have to put an Asian hyphen in front of that at all. He's a, a continually working actor. What about the other cast? Uh, have you stayed in touch with them? Um, I haven't stayed in trouble touch with uh, a bunch of them. I mean, uh, one of the, it was really interesting that, um, that uh, I, I, I seen Albert Leong and, and, and uh, Gerald Okamura, um, sometimes uh, kept in touch on and off. I was involved in Dragon Fest, which was a, a, a thing that previously was uh, done through Gerald Okamura. Uh, and but then later on taken up to benefit the martial arts museum in Burbank, and uh, so I just see these people peripherally. And m most recently, one of the smaller cast role, he, he played a small, he played a guard of, of the Wing Kong uh, Exchange, and his name's Dan Kwan. He's been a longtime friend of mine. So we, we and and one of the associate producers, Jim Lau, uh, is a friend of mine as well, and so. Uh, so this upcoming event will be the first real reunion of some of the cast. Well, just a few of the cast members. Yeah. Unfortunately, it won't. It would be really great to pull them all. I mean, it would be because uh, the last time I saw Kurt Russell uh, was at last year's Oscars. He and Goldie Hawn were there, and, and I asked him if you know he remembered me. He goes, Yeah, of course, you know. So, but uh, that was you know 29 years ago, 28 years ago at that time. So he goes. Great memory. Tell us a little more about working with John Carpenter. What's his process like? John Carpenter was a, a, amazing. This, the funny part of it is that when I first auditioned, you know, they don't give us the whole script. They only gave us a portion of it. Uh, it was on a need-to-know basis. So I didn't have a clue that it was a comedy. <laughs> I was like very, very serious. And when when I had that big fight scene with, with Dennis Dunn, you know, I said, I'd, I'd take this guy out. And they were, what was amazing about it, and I'll, I'll do the humorous part first and then I'll come back to the action, is that right in the middle of this intense fight scene where on his close-up, I'm working opposite him, after all this detailed choreography with the swords and whatnot, he goes, raises his eyebrows, and it puts me into shock because I'm going, what the hell? You know, because you know, we're in a deadly fight here. And I, of course, later on, after seeing it put together, they caught my reaction perfectly because, you know, mine was like... So if you look back at that, that particular scene, you'll see my honest reaction going, are you kidding me? You're, 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 you're blowing the scene by putting this ridiculous reaction in there. But, uh, but the fighting in there was pretty amazing because this was well before wire work. We had to work with trampolines, stunt people, and a lot of the things like, for example, um, to get the special effects. And I don't want to destroy Hollywood magic right here on this interview. <laughs> but back in the day, we didn't have the wire works that, that the, the, the Chinese brought in. We had to do special effects like we'd take the, the camera and we'd move it across the background. That's number one. So we got that as the backdrop. Then on a blue screen, we'd, they'd tie us up on, on uh, platforms, lean us sideways, and we'd fight like this, back and forth. On one angle, they'd flip us around, get Dennis Dunn on the other side, and we'd be sort of fight, fighting that way. So as a result, you mash the two together, and we're, you know, we're doing battle, but we're not going anywhere. And then they just take the scene, and it looks like we're flying across the room. And then when we land, they did reverse film. So instead of jumping into landing, we landed and in the reverse shot. And we had to do a couple of sequences where I had to do this entire fight scene backwards. 
So instead of me going shh, diving in, I had to go and come back out, come back out of it, and then come doing all this series of movements in reverse so that it looked, and I had to time it where, you know, when you accelerate and come to a stop, now you have to accelerate backward and come slower. So it's a very interesting process. And uh, even working in the, after the movie was over, we did a lot of editing afterward with the sound effects and the ADR. Uh, so we had to put, add in the sound effects because you don't have all that on stage. So following the scene, we had to add in our grunts and groans and things. So I'm watching the sequence, a full minute and a half of fighting. And I said, run the whole thing, let me see it once. And so throughout that, you have to be real quiet. And then you hit the three beeps, boop, boop, boop. And then you hear, and I had to follow the sequence that's showing on it with all the grunts and fighting, stabbing, hi, yeah, you know, things like this, making all these different sound effects while following the action that is going on. And so a minute and a half of that without missing me, they went, oh my God, that was amazing to be able to follow that and not, not miss a beat. So it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. They gave, gave us a lot of, uh, took a lot of our suggestions and we, uh, it was feature film wise, it was the most fun I've ever had on any, any set. And do fans still come up to you the, to, even today asking to take pictures and all Well, they, they do. I mean, sometimes I meet them at the, these conventions, but sometimes they say, can we take a picture of you? And I always ask them, are you a martial artist? And they said, oh yeah, yeah, I've been studying da, 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 for many, many years. I go, okay, in order to get a picture with me, you have to do a sidekick with me. And they go, I haven't done it. I said, I'll help you. So, you know, we're lifting the legs and we're doing the sidekicks out. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's the condition of the, of the show. So, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And you mentioned, the, what is it, the Dragon Con or Dragon Con? Um, do you do other conventions? Other well, conventions I, uh, they, you... at one point they, they hired me to go to England. And I, I did... Uh, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the, the convention in England, uh, but I, I can't remember it offhand, but, um, but I recently heard of, of one in Atlanta. They've had it for a long time, Dragon, Dragon Con in Atlanta, so I'm going to try to contact them and we'll see if we can uh, get an appearance out there. But I was here in uh, Los Angeles a while, while back and they had a Monster Palooza, but I, I wasn't able to hook up with them. It didn't, things didn't work, quite work out contractually with them. So, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. The fans are out there. And they're, they're out there, but, you know, they're, and I know that there are a couple of websites. I think there's the Wing Kong Exchange website and a couple other websites that you had mentioned to me that, uh, that are out there that, uh, that have a fan base. And so, we'll see. Big trouble in China lives on. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Peter. Okay.